Hi everyone, how was my last tutorial about the office supplies and equipment and a basic dialogue on the phone in an office in the German language? Do comment in the comment section. Now in this tutorial, we will look at something simpler, which is how to ask and tell time in the German language. But for that, you need to look at some time-related vocabulary first. So moving on. In German, the vocabulary, it is not very differently written, but pronounced differently. It is das vocabular. But you will find another common word for vocabulary other than das vocabular. And that is der Wortschatz. Now, der Wortschatz is a compound noun in the German language made up of das Wort, which is the word, and der Schatz, which is a treasure box. Now, if you open some treasure box, you will want to see precious items coming out of that box. But their watch is a treasure box of words. So this is how we can remember this word to mean the vocabulary because it is just like imagining a treasure box full of words. Then we have D Uhr, which is the clock. And like in English, we have in German different types of clocks. So we can have the watch that you wear on the wrist, which in German is the armband word. Now this is a big word, but again the way to remember that this means the wrist watch is noting that it is once again a compound noun made up of some nouns. Die Armband Uhr is the first compound noun that I'm showing you, which is made up of three nouns instead of two nouns. Der Arm, which is the arm. Das Band, which is any ribbon or anything that you place around your wrist. And note that this word came up in my last tutorial and had a different meaning. So you will see one word having different meanings in different contexts. So in my last tutorial, you saw this word in relation to office supplies. And the meaning was a tape. But in this context, Das Band refers to any ribbon or anything that you will put on your wrist. 
and D over is the clock. So any clock or any watch that you put on the arm or the wrist becomes the wristwatch. Then we also have D1 over, which is the clock that you put on D1. And D1 is the wall. Then we also have the alarm clock, which is now usually found in mobile phones. But if you keep one traditional alarm clock, then that is called the VEC UR, which is again a compound noun made up of the verb wecken, which is to wake, and the UR, which is the clock. So yes, compound nouns are not only made up of two or more nouns in the German language, but we can have a compound noun coming from a verb and a noun, as in this case. But it is also called the Wecker. The hour is die Stunde, plural die Stunden. The minute is the minute, plural the minuten, written just like the English minute word but pronounced differently. Then the second is the Sekunde, plural the Sekunden. Now, if we are going to talk about time, the time is simply also called the sight. But if we are going to talk about the time on a clock, then we use the word the word sight. So the word sight is, as you can see here, a compound noun made up of the word and the sight. Then the prepositions that you will see coming in this tutorial are new because I have not used them in my previous tutorials. And these are the prepositions for, which means before, nach, which can have many meanings in the German language depending on the context it comes in. So when we are using these prepositions for telling the time, nach means after. And um means at. So at this time, at one o'clock, at two o'clock, etc. Um can also have other meanings in the German language, but in relation to time, we use it to mean at that specific hour. Fiatal four is a term that you will see coming when you are talking about 15 minutes because theater means a quarter and quarter before 12 o'clock for example will be theater four and then comes the hour a quarter past 12 for example will be Viertel nach. And halb, you will see it will be used to mean for half an hour. So these three terms you will be able to better understand 
as I show you how to ask and tell the time in my next tutorial parts. So that was all for today. Do stay updated for part two of this tutorial. Thank you.